As the risk of wildfires grows with climate change, scientists are looking to the past to help predict the future. This research team is using stalagmites formed in underground caves to reveal a chemical record of how wildfires burned more than 120,000 years ago, the last time the Earth's temperatures were as high as today. Caves are excellent recorders of climate and environmental changes that are happening above the cave. So uh, we can look at things like past temperatures above the cave, past climate changes, past vegetation changes, and really severe events that happen that perturb the environment like paleo fires. Fire generates a lot of ash, and that ash tends to have a higher concentration of metals. So that ash falls on the ground, and then a precipitation event occurs, and some of those metals leach through the ash. Those metals will make their way through the soil, through the epikarst, and then uh, are deposited on speleothems and then sort of recorded through time. They have climate records that stretch back beyond, for example, tree records, tree ring records, or lake sediment records. So we can go back pretty far in the past, about 500,000 years, sample those stalagmites and look at the chemistry of those stalagmite layers, those individual growth layers, and then determine whether or not we see evidence for an abrupt event like a paleo fire event. Earlier this year, they dated a stalagmite in this cave as at least 600,000 years old. And one of the broken stalagmites in this cave is more than 125,000 years old. Here's the stalagmite that is, was broken, that we chipped from both the bottom and the top. Um, should fit together somehow. And uh, yeah, you can see our chip mark. So we dated this, and this stalagmite is last interglacial. So it's about 130 to maybe 120,000 years old. There we go, that fits together like that. The last interglacial is an interesting time period to study because it was an interglacial period, so it was a warm period similar to today. And what makes it unique is that the poles were, you know, a couple degrees potentially warmer than today. So it provides us with this kind of analog of where we're headed into the future in the next 50 years or so, particularly in the poles, so the high latitudes, as well as the mid latitudes, such as Oregon. The researchers also collect drip water entering the cave to understand the details of how stalagmites form in this cave system and what traces a wildfire above the cave might leave behind. We actually will climb up. Our drip site is up there. Oh, perfect, it just dripped too, so we know for sure it is active. Behind me, they're setting up a, a sampling machine that will sample drips of water over the next year as groundwater flows down from above and drips into the cave. And they'll use this water to measure isotopes that record seasonal changes in the climate outside of the cave. And this modern record of isotopes can then be used to compare the isotopic record recorded in these stalagmites around me over hundreds of thousands of years. What we're interested to know is that kind of natural cycle, right? So when we look into the past, do we see during time periods of uh, warmer temperatures and drier conditions, do we do indeed see a link in a higher frequency of fires? Knowing how wildfires behaved during the last interglacial could help modelers project how wildfires will behave with climate change this century. This is sort of like brand new science that we're trying to um, uncover the history of paleo fire in a particular region using speleothems and then ideally kind of stretching back beyond the tree record and the lake record and going back deeper in time.